It's so wonderful today to be here with Dr. Flores from the University of Texas. We're going to do a writing workshop, a bilingual writing workshop in English y Espanol about writing a prose poem called I Remember and using a story map as a brainstorming technique. Thank you, Dr. Flores. Thank you, Dr. Blasinghe. Me llamo Dr. Flores. Soy una profesora en la Universidad de Texas at Austin. Y estoy muy emocionada uh, a estar aquí con ustedes para escribir una poema sobre su vida, las cosas que recuerdas. I remember our one bedroom trailer in Hiawatha, Iowa. And I remember when Treasure Island was on the Disney Channel and we pretended our trailer was a pirate ship. There we are in our hats and eye patches <laughs> with our sword from cardboard and aluminum foil. And I remember when we played like our trailer was a spaceship mm -hmm. and we were exploring the galaxy. There we had space helmets made with aluminum foil. Aluminum foil was great for making all sorts right? of Right, you can do everything with aluminum foil. <laughs> and I remember playing submarine from inside the trailer. And see, we made a periscope out of, out of cardboard and pipe fittings. But most of all, I remember the day our dad came home and said, kids, we're moving into a house. Oh my gosh, there's our little house in Hiawatha, Iowa, when I was a little boy. I love the red door. Love the red door. Well, I did this. I got the idea from a story map. And you can see on the story map here, here's our little trailer. And here's where I got my first haircut, the Hiawatha Barbershop. And here is the house that we moved into right there. And here's where a tornado came and took away the barn behind our house and it jumped over our house and took off the tops of the trees, but, but we were saved. And here's the gravel pit where I ran away. I ran away when I was uh, a little boy. I think I was only three years old when I ran away. <laughs> so this is all um, the things from my story map. Now, there's a famous author named Jack Gantos. He's won every award there is in, uh, in, in writing. He's written all these books, including a Newbery Medal winner. Well, in this book, Writing Radar, using your journal to snoop out and craft great stories, Jack Gantos explains techniques for figuring out stories. Mm. And when he presented to Dr. Dr. Flores and I, uh, he had a map of his childhood home, one of them. He lived in a lot of different places, but this one, I think this one was in, in Florida. He lived in Florida and Barbados and different places, and he would draw maps of his neighborhood. Oh, there he is. Can you see the map behind him? It's in color. So aquí está el autor, se llama Jack Yantos. Y él ha escrito muchos libros de su vida y también los libros um, se llamaba, um, ¿cómo se dice? Rotten Ralph, about the cat who does rotten things, but he's still really good. Y yeah, también cool. los, lib y los libros de Joy Pizza. Y también el, mem el memoir de su vida se llama, ¿cómo se dice? Hole in my life. Hole in my life. And um, él está aquí con su um, journal en que escrito uh, las cosas de su vida desde, desde uh, chamaco desde hoy. And if you look behind, um, es una mapa de, de su vida. Y hoy vamos a invitar a ustedes a hacer una mapa de un, una vecindad, un um, barrio en que vive, o en que su nana vive, o or, or un barrio en que es muy importante a usted. On his map, he made little cartoon drawings of things that happened. He drew in a cartoon of where he broke his brother's arm. He actually broke his brother's arm twice. Uh, <laughs> the same arm in the same Dos place. veces. 
Whoa. And another place where an, all an alligator ate their dog. And yeah. where his, his brother thought he shot down an airplane and where his mother was mistakenly arrested for murder. So he had this all on his story map. Todas las cosas de su vida están en su mapa de historia. Hay el, el tiempo en que roto su, um, su brazo y también el alligator que vi cuando estaba jugando con sus amigos y el perro también. We circled those, uh, those two because those were particularly good stories. So back to my story map. And you can see the house that we moved into and our trailer. So now it's your turn. Let's make a map of the neighborhood where you grew up or the neighborhood where you live now or a place that you lived or, or your, your, your nana, uh, abuelitas um, neighborhood, uh, any place that's familiar to you and make sure that there are some things on it that will make for good stories. And when everyone has a few things on his or her story map, we'll share with our nearby friends. Ahorita vamos a invitar a ustedes a, a dibujar su propio mapa de, de barrio. Piensan en su vida cuando era niño o niña. Um, el, um, el área en que, que vive o si quede mucho tiempo con sus abuelitos o con sus tíos y tías o sus vecinos, también pueden uh, dibujar uh, uh, estos, estos varios estos varios en una mapa. Y piensan también en los eventos que ocurrían en esto, en, um, que van a estar buenas historias. Porque ellos, ellos tienen, um, ustedes tienen muchas historias muy importantes. So piensan en un, un barrio muy importante en su vida y también piensan um, en los eventos, las personas que, que, que hiciste en estas en estos lugares, lugares importantes, personas importantes, y dibujan en, en la mapa. Y luego, cuando tienen dos o tres cosas en su mapa, vamos a compartir con sus, um, sus amigos en, en clase. Let's take about um, oh, tres minutos, uh, porque to um, do a little map and maybe find some... Uh, uh, some interesting stories on it, and we're going to give you uh, that time, or as much time as, as your teacher wants to take, and then uh, we'll come back. So we're going to let you stop the video for uh, a, a few minutes, and then we'll come back. We're back. Hey, everyone. I, we hope that it was fun. One, two, three, and share. Show someone nearby what you drew. We'll give you a moment to do that. Y hablan de las, lo, las personas, los lugares, las historias, en los, dif, los partes diferentes de tu mapa, porque son muy importantes y pueden usar en su poema or in otros, otras historias. We'll be back in just a moment. We're back. <laughs> now, let's pick one thing on your story map to write about. And you can usually tell what the best thing is because your friend will be very interested in that. They want to know about where the car jumped over the curb and ran into to your house, smashed into it, or they want to know about this uh, this puppy that you got, um, something on your story map that they were very interested in. Pick one thing. Elige una cosa en su mapa. Solamente una cosa, la cosa más importante, or la, co or la cosa que tiene una historia muy, muy buena, muy importante. Y vamos a usar este... Um, este, esta cosa para su poema. We'll give you a moment 
to do that. And we're back. <clears throat> now, let's try to make a list of four things about the topic of your story. This, this thing that you pulled off your story map. Um, I decided to do it about a dog, a dog named Duke. Here are the, the four things. Duke was friendly. There he is down there. Isn't Duke? A dog? <laughs> Duke would chase a ball all day. Duke cried every day when we left him to go to school. And Duke slept beside my bed every night. Which, is, which of these things do you think would make the best ending for a story? So vean a su lista y trata de, uh, como se dice, trata de haz una lista de cuatro, cuatro cosas de su, de su, um, de su um, tema. Y haz cuatro cosas y piensan. ¿Cuáles de, de las um, oraciones son lo mejor para el fin? We'll give you a moment to make that list and pick out, pick out the grand finale line. And we're back. And now we're going to write an I remember prose poem. Do you remember my poem from the beginning? It goes, I remember, and I remember, and I remember, but most of all, I remember. It's a poem with only four lines, but they're all about the same topic, saving the most important line for last. It doesn't have to have rhyme or rhythm. It could, that would be okay if you wanted it to rhyme, but it doesn't have to. So here's my poem again. I remember our one bedroom trailer in Hiawatha, Iowa, and I remember when Treasure Island was on Disney and we pretended our trailer was a pirate ship. And I remember when we played like our trailer was a spaceship and we were exploring the galaxy. But most of all, I remember the day our dad came home and said, kids, we're moving into a house. Uh, I love that poem. Me encanta su poema, Dr. B. Y vamos a invitar a ustedes a uh, uh, escribir su propio poema y vamos a usar uh, la línea yo recuerdo yo recuerdo y yo recuerdo y yo recuerdo pero yo re recuerdo más y usa estas palabras para uh, empezar su poema y, y es nada más de cuatro líneas de para su poema so we're inviting you to write this poem and thinking about using those words, I remember, I remember, I remember, but most of all, I remember. Going back to that one thing that you picked from your map. And here, here's an example with the Duke memories. I remember how friendly Duke was and I remember how he would chase a ball every day. And I remember how Duke slept beside my bed every night. But most of all, I remember how he cried every day when we left him to go to school. And you can add an ending if you want to. Duke was the best dog ever. And of course, of course, Duke was the best dog ever. So can you do that? Let's see. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Try to put your four lines together in an order that you like. Your teachers will help. And we will give you some time to do that. Vamos a escribir nuestros poemas. Trata de poner cuatro lineo, líneas juntos de, de su tema, de, de un lugar de su mapa, de una persona de su mapa, como, como quieras. Pero usa la, la línea, yo recuerdo, yo recuerdo, yo recuerdo, pero yo recuerdo más. En usan estas palabras para, para ayudar a apoyar a, a usted en, en su escritura. We'll give you as much time as you need to work on that. You can come back to this video when your teacher is ready. Toman su tiempo para escribir su poema y también si necesitas más tiempo, nada más de ver el, el video um, again, then again, then again.
We're back. We're going to leave you now, uh, but we're going to ask this question. Would anyone like to read the group, Your Peace? And we have- Hay alguien, hay, hay alguien que quiere compartir su, su escritura. Hay, hay un escritor que quiere compartir. Nada más the, the um, go ahead and share then because your stories and your poems are so important. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Adios. Thank you so much.